Hello there, Virgo. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot forecast for the week of September 21st through the 27th. What I have coming up for you on Monday is I do have the temperance card in reverse. I'm feeling you guys being in just completely impatient and kind of throwing a little bit of a fit on Monday about something that you're just tired of waiting for in your life. <laughs> That's odd. I've never... <laughs> don't think I've ever got anything about people throwing a fit before. Um, but yeah, temperance, I'm just showing very impatient. You're just, you're just ready for whatever it is that you want in your life on Monday. You're ready for it to be here right now. Yesterday would have been better. And just kind of um, having a little bit of a meltdown over the whole situation. Uh, obviously, that's not the best way to handle things. So, you know, when you see these readings ahead of time and, and you start to feel the type of energy coming in that you really don't want to be operating in, you do have free will, so you can change this. You don't have to have that meltdown or throw that fit. Um, you can kind of see this coming on and kind of tell yourself, okay, relax. I just need to be more patient. Just relax. Just relax. Just relax. <laughs> if you have to listen to some kind of calming music, whatever you have to do, <clears throat> excuse me, so that you can relax about the situation because it's not that whatever is coming in is not coming in. It's just not coming in yet. So you just want to give that, that situation time to ripen fully before it comes into your life. So, um, Try to relax. Try to just chill out about it and let it come in as it's ready to come in. That's the advice on that. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys can avoid the fit. <laughs> All right, so Virgo's Tuesday, Queen of Cups. This is somebody that you're going to be interacting with. Um, wow, that's interesting. I normally never, never, never get this for court cards, although I know a lot of other readers do. But this, I feel like for you, Virgos, this is going to be a water sign person. For most of you, this is going to be a female. For some of you, this will be a male. Water sign person, we're talking about Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces woman. And we are talking about sun sign. Um, I don't feel like this is going to be an ascendant sign. I think this is a sun sign person that you're dealing with on Tuesday. And this person <clears throat> is coming to you. Feels like she wants to put her cards on the table. So um, this is a person that you deal with already. This is not like this is a new person that you haven't met before. And it feels like she has something on her chest that she really needs to share with you on Tuesday. So you want to be ready to make some time to hear what it is that she has to say. And it feels to me like this conversation between you and her can be very, very productive. I think some of the things that she has to say some of you will have already suspected these things anyway, but it's nice to have the confirmation coming from her lips. Others of you are just going to be blown away because you really haven't been, honestly, paying that much attention to any of the signs that she's been giving you already. And so I think some of you are going to be a little bit shocked by some of the things that she has to say, but she just really needs to share her emotions. And the thing about water signs generally is and I'm a water sign, but water signs, we're normally pretty cool with our emotions. Like we don't have a problem with feeling our emotions. We're fine with that. And we're also pretty good about expressing our emotions to other people. Um, and hopefully not in an intimidating manner. Although some people are not open to emotions at all. And then they just think we're over emotional. But the bottom line here is we're pretty good about expressing our emotions. And I feel like she's going to be pretty good about telling you what's on her mind and how she feels about it whenever you have this conversation Tuesday. It doesn't feel like this is anything where she's, um, you know, being overly dramatic or anything like that. Um, but she just needs you to know these things. And, um, she is, and I do feel like by telling you these things, <coughs> excuse me, by telling you these things, she is sort of going out on a limb herself. She's making herself vulnerable to you by sharing these feelings with you. And so, um, and I don't feel like this is necessarily romantic. For some of you, it'll be that she's sharing romantic um, feelings or hopes or whatever. But for a lot of you, this really has more to do with work or something going on at work that she's sharing feelings about with you. And so she's really putting herself out on a limb to be doing this to start with. She is hoping that you will be able to react in some way where she knows where you stand after you hear the things that she has to say. So in other words, this is not a situation that it's okay for you to 
um, listen to what she has to say and then ask her to leave your office without giving her any kind of response. Um, you want to let her know at least first impressions, you know, you can just say, well, you know, if this is something that shocks you, you can even say to her, this is something that I wasn't expecting. I really don't know what to say right now. Even if you say that much, that will help her. And the reason that I'm focusing on how you respond to her is because um, this does feel like she's made herself very vulnerable to you by sharing this and after making herself very vulnerable, she needs to kind of know where she stands with you. She needs to know if this lowered your opinion of her or or if she still is at the same level with you as she was before this conversation. She needs to kind of know where things sit um, for her own well-being. And honestly, really, it's only fair that she made herself so vulnerable that you kind of let her know, oh, you know, whatever whatever the deal is so anyway that's coming through very strongly in this reading that it's important that you respond to her so i mean i don't feel like it's just me saying oh you should respond to her i feel like this is part of the message from spirit is that this woman needs a response once she has shared this with you and it won't be a woman for all of you but for most of you now virgo's wednesday three of swords in reverse the Three of Swords in Reverse is my heartache card. When it comes in in reverse, it's saying that there's some healing for a heartache. Um, I have actually had this card come up whenever somebody was healing up from um, like heart surgery, <laughs> although that's very rare. Usually this is more about emotions whenever I'm reading. And so this is talking about, um, you know, maybe there was something said that really hurt your feelings or, you know, made you upset. And so this is healing from that. So maybe there's been a conversation with that person that said those things. And now you're starting to understand what was really meant by what that person said, or maybe the context of the situation. Maybe you weren't given the full context before. And so things are starting to, um, to come into a perspective that are not, you know, that this situation is not so hurtful after all. And so you're starting to heal up from that. Could be also you're just doing some spiritual healing or some psychological healing that is helping you deal with this heartache on Wednesday. Um, no matter how you slice it, it's talking about healing from a heartache and that's always a good thing. Now on Thursday, what we have showing up for you Virgos is we have the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords, interesting, interesting for Virgo. I see you guys getting kind of curious about metaphysical type stuff, psychic things, occult things, arcane things, secrets of the universe is what I call it. So metaphysical laws, law of attraction, things like this that we aren't taught about in school that really do affect our universe and the place that we live, our environment. So I see you getting kind of curious about some of this stuff and I see that curiosity drawing you in to find out information. I feel like for a lot of you, this is a very basic level of curiosity. This is kind of the curiosity that says, this is stuff really for real. <laughs> I think that's kind of where a lot of you are on Thursday. Like, you know, those of you who are watching me, you're going to be like, is she for real? <laughs> is she really picking anything up? Is she just making up stories as she looks at these cards? <laughs> How do you do? I could be a psychic. Let me be a psychic. Give me a deck of cards. Put me in front of a camera. I could be a psychic. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of where you are on Thursday. Um, and there's something about it that where normally you wouldn't pay too much attention to this type of thing. And it may not be that I'm the one that you're thinking about. It may be something else that makes you think about this. I was just giving that as an example. But you may normally be skeptical about this type of thing and something has happened that has kind of triggered you to go, wait a second, maybe there is something real. Maybe I should kind of look at this sort of. And also the other thing that I'm feeling is as you're looking at this thing, it's kind of embarrassing to you that you're actually curious about this. So you're kind of keeping it a secret too. Like you're not letting anybody else know. If you're watching this video and, th and this is coming up as your energy on Thursday, particularly Virgo, um, I don't think you're letting anybody else know you're watching this video. <laughs> in fact, I think if somebody walks in while this is on, you are going to totally just shut down this tab and be like, hmm, what? I don't know what you were hearing. <laughs> 
So anyway, let's move on from Thursday. Thursday is just all about you researching and trying to figure out something about the secrets of the universe. Friday, what we have is the three of coins for you, Virgos. Three of coins is celebration. To me, this is celebration, especially in this deck. You can see the musical instrument. There's also some keys in this guy's hand. So this is talking about also new opportunities opening for you. So this could be celebrating new opportunity. This could be that you got a job or that you got a raise and you're celebrating something like that. This can also be celebration just for the sake of celebration. This can be celebration for the sake of collaborating with others. So this may be something like a band practice or getting together and uh, meeting with other people and all painting together in the same studio or room or whatever. Um, but this is, uh, this is, first of all, I think of celebration for the more majority of you. And then I've got a minority, 30 to 40 percent, so a pretty big minority, that this is about collaboration, about working together with other people on something kind of creative, kind of creative, really creative. Okay, so Let's move on to Saturday for Virgos. We've got the Two of Cups in reverse. This just tells me there's something going on Saturday that you're not very happy about. Something is probably going backwards, and this is typically going to have to do with a relationship. So this could be some kind of relationship in your life going backwards. Can be a romantic relationship. Doesn't have to be. Can be any kind of relationship that's going backwards instead of forwards. But it also doesn't have to be restricted to a relationship. This could be something that you used to really like, and all of a sudden... Hmm, not so thrilled about it anymore. I mean, maybe you had a hobby that was collecting, I don't know, collecting stamps. That would be a good hobby now because who uses stamps anymore? And so something happens on Saturday and you're like, wait a second, I'm, I'm not as into this hobby as I used to be. So it could be something going on going backwards with a relationship or something going on going backwards with your feelings towards something. So something that you used to be really be into, now you're just kind of like, hmm, I can take it or leave it. But it is, a cups card is always about emotions. Most times it has to do with relationships, but not always. It is always about emotions. That's always a bottom line on a cups card. All right, so Sunday for Virgos, you have the Justice card in reverse. And the Justice card in reverse is just telling me that you are evaluating somebody in your life trying to figure out what their motives really were in a certain situation that happened. So maybe something happened that had a kind of a negative effect and you're not sure if the person involved actually intended to have that negative effect or if something if they started out something expecting it to end in a different way than what it did. And so you're evaluating them on that on Sunday. So thank you so much, Virgos, for stopping by, for sharing, for watching, even if it was secretly. <laughs> I really appreciate all the support. For those of you who have been purchasing my daily um, videos, thank you so much. For those of you who have purchased a reading or will purchase a reading, thank you so much. And thank you to everyone for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. I appreciate all of your support. Everyone have a fantastic week. I will see you back here next week. Peace out.